Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Nora, and welcome back to more Final Crossing for the GameCube. It's only been three weeks since the last upload. I swear, time is like awful and has been getting away from me a lot recently, but hopefully you guys are doing well. Uh, now, from the looks of things, um, I can't remember the last episode, but if I had to guess, um, I assume we were up dead light and just fished. Like, I feel as though I'm going to be proven correct with that, because there's, there's no other reason that I can think that my inventory is this full of stuff. Oh. Well, that sure doesn't help. Yeah, today's the 31st. Are you? Yum, Donkey Kong. Today's a raffle day, I'm not selling anything. You must return tomorrow if you wish to shop. I just wish to be free. Right. Oh, okay, well that puts a wrench in the plans. Okay. As they say, adapt, improvise, overcome. Um, I assume we just throw stuff in our house. Do we have anything that's going on of particular note in our basement? Off the top of my head, no. So I'm thinking, throw all our stuff that we can just sell next time in the basement. Pray we discover it. And oh no, cockroaches. Anyway, um, I think, yes, okay, down here is empty. It's like quite free storage. Okay, so we just drop everything. Um, can we even drop this? Okay, I was kind of concerned because it didn't say place, you know, kind of thinking potentially the thing would just be on the floor, but nah, seemingly just a, uh, a localization quirk that I end out in one of the later entries. Can you die? I'm sorry, your continued existence really annoys me. No, don't you, don't you go jumping at me like that, monsieur. No, no, -uh! what is this trick shot? Huh? No! Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, this man is in phase. No, get your ass back here. Go, re remain in the Shadow Realm for all eternity, please. Now, can I, hmm, do I have, if I drop this? Yeah, I was kind of hoping I could place it as like a small thing, but nah, that was never going to be the case, was it? But, um, yeah, interesting way to start the episode. Well, um, we'll have to improvise. Um, granted, I was kind of, I won't say I was looking forward to it, but, hmm. You know, I'd be lying if I said part of my uh, plan of action wasn't to just sell stuff, get more stuff, and sell that again. Like, it's been three weeks, I just kind of want to chill. Like, you know, work towards our mortgage and whatnot. I, I mean, I suppose that allows us to stuff out of order, though, so in a way, we'll call it a blessing in disguise to make the episode nice and varied. That'll work for everyone. Works enough for me. Oh god, this, this basement is awful. Um, and actually, we do have these, and I, I got a plan with these, right? So we have, so we can still go to the museum, and we can still check these guys out. And I reckon we can reattach them to the letters, if memory serves. So, like, in my head, I think, I think we can do a plan of action. Ammonite, I think we've already donated, and then at anything, like, it's so simple, it sticks in my mind, so can I? I just want to test it right now. Can we go reattach that? We can. Well, all right, team. So, um, first order of business actually came to mind while I was saying about the mortgage. How is the mortgage looking? Because I imagine it's got to be like progressed a decent bit. Like, granted, I'm sure one of you will probably just remember conveniently, uh, but my brain's got a few holes in it. Sometimes it uh, isn't at full capacity, sometimes, you know, it just doesn't see the need to remember things because I can just check. Case in point now. I mean, we have 60k, so realistically we can just kind of throw 50,000 at it and uh, see where that leaves it. Because, again, I'm not sure what we're going to do in this series after we max out the house. Um, maybe we'll put it on like, hey, it's like we did a new leaf. Except this time we won't, you know, accidentally leave the sa lose the save file. Cross our fingers. <laughs> um, yeah, 350k remaining then. Um, like, I mean, granted we've got a fair bit of money tied up, but not the worst. And I think this is the last house upgrade too, so we'll see what we do with that, honestly. Like, I've never given it too much thought, but because I said this was City Folk and we all know how bad it ended. Uh, are there any fossils around here, Gabby? There isn't. Um, yeah, we'll head, to, we'll head to the museum, why not? Try and keep some sense of, like, normalcy and pace. So like, I came on, you know, tr at a time where I thought nooks would be open, purely so I could sell stuff, and then it just didn't matter. Like, that's kind of funny. I'll, I'll give it that. It's kind of, like, unintentionally funny. I entirely forgot about the raffle being today. It's like, I would have recorded yesterday, um, but instead I recorded... I feel like I should know this. What did I record yesterday? 
I think I recorded some Dead by Daylight content on the new update and something else. Persona 5, that was it. Yeah. Sheesh, we are having awful luck with the fossils today, dare I say. Oh! Complain and you shall receive. It's like, God. <laughs> Works like a charm, so long as I'm not like actively trying to get it to work like that. Now, fossil numero uno. Okay, I'll add, add some more money to the uh, the bank of that loan, so uh, yeah, I'll take it. And, you know, there's a rock here, we may as well. Nope. Didn't, didn't anticipate it, but you know, worth a shot, worth a shot. Um, granted, with the final loan payment, um, since we're going to be speaking to Blath, I can kind of ramble. Um, with the final loan payment, I was thinking we could attempt to get into the beta map. Have that be like one of the last episodes we do? Because um, I was thinking on this, and I'm not sure if I've said this, but I think the reason it previously didn't work is possibly because we did it on a... the right day, but just on the wrong year. Um, like, because of it being an error, I imagine that maybe the year has more influence over it than I thought it might. I don't know. But, um, oh my god, okay, petrol left wing we actually didn't have. But yeah, no, I'm gonna do it on um, a day I know works in a tutorial on the PAL version. Do it just as like a second attempt, really. Um, until then, I'm, well, actually, that is our last chance to do it, unless we want to go ahead, you know, and uh, make another character. Now, what is this? A Triceratops was already part of our collection. Okay, well, 50% success rate, technically 33% if you count the Ammonite I chose not to donate, is how it is. Um, so what else has gone on today? Um, I went to the gym. Um, only just for under an hour. I was meeting some friends and I admittedly was late turning up, but I did good. Um, my heart rate hit 209, which I'm told is concerning. Um, although apparently it could just be faulty-ish gym equipment. It's like, at the end of the day, you know, there's more professional equipment than, like, some metal bar. And yeah, that's the second time I've gone. Um, I've just kind of been passively trying all the energy drinks and, like, stuff to keep you going after the vending machine one by one. And I keep having all with lockers that, like, jam or won't unlock. Uh, but yeah, no, um, went, had fun, and then I went to my to my friends. Um, on the way there, I acquired 18 cans of Fanta, and, um, we got a Chinese. Now, in my personal opinion, it is not as good as the Chinese near my house. That, they, they, that, that Chinese is heaven incarnate. Um, like, there is, there is no contest, it is the greatest Chinese shop ever invented. Uh, but, you know, it, it was okay. It, it was just, it felt a bit lacking, Pat, like, a little bad, but at the end of the day, I'm sure I'll cope. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> it admittedly did make me, like, consider, okay, maybe I'll, like, order a better Chinese now I'm home. And I was like, no, I should probably save money. I spent, like, a concerningly high amount this month. But, uh, school year starts in not that long. Ugh. God, sorry. We can get into that. Ah, uh, but yeah, no need student finance payments come in, so I am not going to be... I would say broke, but you know, I'm trying to like maintain my money levels a little. But I always like to treat myself. I like kind of write off any like things that are bugging me in my head. Like, oh, you spent X amount of money, so you should try and save. I always try and do something like that when I get a student loan payment to come in, just because it's like, I'm in university. Um, you know, like I'm going to be going into full time job and whatnot. I may as well enjoy myself with that type of stuff, you know. Uh, still being responsible. Like, I like to think, like, I, I, because sometimes I feel bad, and then I'll just remember, oh yeah, one of my classmates is just booking a flight to America the day he gets his payment, and it's like, maybe I am a bit more responsible than I give myself credit for. Um, speaking on university, though, um, we need to do something called a dissertation. I do not know if there's, I assume it's like a th similar thing in the US, don't know what the name would be. Um, thesis paper, something like that. It's basically just research, and ours needs to be on games, as that is what my course primarily focuses on. Um, but, issue is, I'm like really creatively awful, so I've kind of been like stumbling over what to do for it. So I'm dreading going back, because it's like, uh-oh. Oh! Oh, I'm happy I dug those holes there. Oh, this is like, this is gonna pay dividends. Mash that A button, mash that A button, underlay, underlay. And we can pick it all up as well, because our pocket's are practically empty. Oh, but yeah, I'm, I'm dreading, like, oh my god, and there's a fossil here. Oh, gyro, but still. Sacred spot much. Ooh. Got our loan approach us. That, that's, like, at least 10,000 in one of those bags, isn't it? Plus all the rest. Oh, god. Um, what should I feel about that? Sure, because it's a lot of money. Slightly concerned, because finding that and getting the max amount does push us ever so slightly closer to having to be concerned what we do with this series. But yeah, no, speaking of things to be concerned about, I'm just concerned about what to write about, because I'm kind of like, uh, 
Like, I kind of want to do something relating to visual novels and how it makes the player more interested in them. Don't exactly know what I'm going to do for that, and honestly, if I do decide on what I'm doing, I can't say, because I'm pretty sure they get published, and no offense to any of you guys, I just don't want my full name out there, or the university I attend out there, because then that makes finding me really easy. And not that I don't trust any of you guys, but you know, all it takes is one bad apple to have my address, and all of a sudden, we have a problem. So, uh, yeah, probably can't say too much more on that, but I'm kind of concerned uh, with that, but I'm sure I'll sort it. Um, sure will be a bit more effort, but, yeah, here's how it is. Now, can I shake these again? Like, I'm thinking, can I get away with shaking these again? Like, do I move the current load away <laughs> and then get a new load? Like, is that, is that petty? So how many do we have? We have three, six, and two. Okay, so two, we should do two trees at a time. Works out the same. You know, I think, yeah, no, I think this works. If I move these away, it's just a little bit of a safer area, then shake them again, you know, we got some more money for next episode. Next episode, I'm not being funny. This one's kind of been like a fun, you know, slightly askew, off-script episode. Next episode, I'm sorry, it's just gonna be me rambling and like going <laughs> from nooks back here, nooks back here, you know, back and forth a whole lot, but hey, someone might enjoy that. I uh, don't know if my hands will, but hey, that's a problem for future me. Awful idea slash mentality to have. <laughs> God, I've only had that. Uh, I can only have that to so many university assignments before one of my professors puts their foot down and is like, Jesus Christ, get your ass out of here. <laughs> um, shockingly, this took way less time to go through and do than I thought it would. Huh. Now, well. Um, we also need to see if there's any paper left over at the dump just so we can mail off these fossils, but, um, huh. Honestly, it feels like we're still being productive, despite the fact that my main focus for this episode being money-making was like, you know, re-rendered immediately. Now, these are all shaken and whatnot. Second hypothesis, slash thing I want to do. Just just the pear tree over here, I want to see what happens if I shake it without moving anything. Just because it's like, it's only three. Oh, well. Um, I'm still concerned how it would have handled if I happened if I hadn't moved the cherries, but, huh. Worked out surprisingly well. Uh, anyway, I'd say next stop is the dump. And pulling my shovel back out in case we find any fossils on the way over. God, we got we already got 30k like in, chilling in our bell bag. We are, but we're getting rich. Like it kind of concerns me how much you know, uh, like how quick we're speeding towards paying off our final loan. Like you know, it's like I've enjoyed this, but at the same time, it's like it. it considering every other Animal Crossing game we've played on the channel hasn't ended when we finish paying off our loan. Finishing this one, oh, 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 okay, sorry. There, this this game has stereo audio and that just played that like directly in my ear and really caused me to jump. I don't know if it'll come through on the video, but it certainly came through in real life. And you know what? I'll nick these just so I can sell them. <laughs> Devious, perhaps? Funny? Yeah, that again, it, oh, it's right in my right ear. Ugh. I can't stand buzzing insects like flies and stuff. Dragonflies, cicadas, maybe, but like flies and like beetles that make like a humming noise, or bees and wasps. They just give me the shivers, you know? Um, anyway, I'm gonna search more thoroughly around here for further fossils, because I reckon we can find like one more. Like, I'm feeling it. Can you feel it? Yes, I can. Thank you for asking, Jackson5. <laughs> you know, sometimes I say those things and it's like, is that too obscure of a reference to make? It probably is, but you know what I mean? It's like, I may make obscure references that some people don't get, but they're fun to me. So it's like, they can stay. They can stay. It's like, hey, may maybe that obscure reference someone won't understand, but they'll go find out what it means and then find a cool song, so. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not sure. Is that something any of you guys are ever, like, acutely aware of? Because I know I am for YouTube and stuff. I need to kind of keep my commentary quite grounded. Like, when I was talking about university stuff, everyone can kind of understand what it is. Big paper, struggling to what to understand. But when I'm referencing very specific things in pop culture, like, oh, The Jackson 5 and this specific song, it's like, is that too specific? You know, is it going to be, is it going to be, I would say it's read as weird, but I think, you know, to make it seem more sim familiar to me, you guys that maybe don't make content, is, is it going to be seen as, like, weird or kind of a bit too out there? Um, yeah, I don't know, it's just something that's always on the back of my mind. Yeah, like, I've definitely disregarded it more in recent years, but it definitely used to play on my mind a lot more in all the videos. Like, I'd still, you know, it was just kind of a different flavor, um, rather than changing things that right. 
Um, but yeah, that's like, and then there's other stuff like the complete opposite side of the coin where it's like, I know I can reference Thriller by Michael Jackson, kind of tie it full circle. It's like, kind of reference a song from the band he was in before he was a solo artist and got super mega famous like he is known nowadays. I don't know. Can I mention one of the biggest albums ever and one of the biggest songs ever as it is on that album? I absolutely can. <laughs> so it's like, it does like a mental thing. There's a cloudy area. And then there is just some stuff where I know if I say or mention it or reference it, there will just be people in the audience or the majority of the audience will just be sat there like, what the fuck are you on about? <laughs> I don't know. It's just like kind of a fun, I would say thought experiment, but you know what I mean? Just a fun thing to think about. Uh, now we are at the 15 minute mark and I'm kind of like, with all the bugs that are around, I'm kind of thinking, because last episode was so focused on, you know, going ahead and getting our fish and whatnot, which we're now storing in our basement. What if, okay, well, Trey Watson found that actually, you know, get get the stuff from there. What if we just caught a few bugs to run out of the episode? Nice chill. And, oh, okay, I see that paper. We definitely made the right shot here. Um, so of course, take this out because an extra item to sell to Nook is just some more money in the bank. A Miss Flamingo, I will take that. And then, I'm also gonna take this and use it immediately. Thank you, Booker. Oh, dainty paper, definitely mine. 100% fits my bill, 100%. Uh, well, we'll still catch a few bugs, however, I would be amiss if I didn't also go mail off fossils before the end of the episode, you know? It's like, it would just be silly. Granted, I'm gonna use this just to clear up my inventory, and I have an idea. I'm kind of interested as to how it'll work. What if I mail something that isn't a fossil to the museum? Like, what would what would, what would, what would happen? So, can I pick you up? Um, the answer to that is apparently no. If I was just permanently down once, huh, weird. Um, let's find something we can pick up then. Or find find like a really cheap bug which we don't care if you know. And we lose like the 100 bells it'll sell for, or, a, or less in some instances. Because I'm kind of interested as to what that would entail. I don't want to wait too long, because you know, I kind of want to. We think if this episode some breathing room and whatnot, like maybe trim the faddle so it doesn't overstay its welcome, but. I'm so interested as to what. Like, what. Will they get a special mail back? Obviously, I'll need to be paying attention at the start of the next episode, but. Eh. Actually, you know what? Um, instead of sending off a bug, I'll send off you. It's only 500 bells at the end of the day. Like, will it add up if we do it multiple times? Yeah, but 500 times, well, 500 bells just this once. We can live. Um, in fact, we'll do it now. Like, what, what? Actually, no, I think I think that shirt probably has less material value, so I just stick that in and works. <laughs> See, and the thing is, now that, like, I get to move these fossils out, that shirt, and also the slot the paper was taking up, there's a lot more space in our inventory, which is like, oh, you go full circle. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna spare myself a trip next episode and just load myself up with all these um these guys that are chilling out down here. <laughs> Hello Jay again. Um may as well just pick these five up, you know? It's like start us off on a uh, strong note next time, run off the nooks, then you know. Um yeah, okay. Um yeah, okay, then we've got six, never mind. God. Uh, my brain's slightly fried if you can't guess. I was very, very out of breath at the gym. Um <laughs> Still, um, honestly, yeah, um, I suppose that can be our final thing. So I mentioned in passing, I have, like, in case any of you are aware, I have started going to the gym, and it's been quite good. Um, like, immediately I've noticed, like, some good effects. Like, I always seem to be in quite a good mood after I leave, which is always quite nice. And also, like, mentally, it's like, when I'm there, I might be a bit bored. But I can be there and be like, okay, this is improving my health. Hell yeah. I'll have more energy to do stuff, which is, like, true. It tires me out as well, so I'm probably going to go to bed at a more normal time tonight, so it stacks up. Um, but, um, first things first, I've, like, immediately seen the impact. Uh, there was a pair of jeans I didn't want to throw out, but we also just haven't had the chance to give to a charity um, shop. So they've just been sitting in my wardrobe, and I was out of them. And this is after I'd just been for the first time, and that was, like, I was fine with my life out there, if I'm being honest. Like, I was <gasps> in, like, like two-ish hours. Went to pizza afterwards, but I still like to think I made a good effort. Like, I, I probably ran, like, a collective seven or eight kilometers according to some machines. I know they're not mega accurate, but, you know, just give some perspective. I would like some difficulty settings on as well. And like, I went to put those jeans on because it's like, I can wear them, they're just quite tight, and they were went on normally. And it was like, oh, okay. 
Because, like, I wasn't, like, chronically fat. If you've seen me in facecam videos, you know, I'm, like, still quite lean. But it's, like, I'd lost enough to where they'd gone from being quite uncomfortable to wear to where I kind of wanted to pass them on to someone else. To, oh, no, this is, like, fine. Um, because that, that was the first good thing. And the second thing, if it is boring, um, then what I can do is I can think through video stuff and get my mind organised. Uh, this also pertains to the second channel. Uh, but when I was there the first time, I was doing an extended bit where I walked uphill on a treadmill. And, um... Well, I was just thinking about stuff I wanted to write in a quick, short, second channel script. And that eventually materialised, and it's like I planned what I wanted to record this evening, for instance. Like, what I was going to do, if there was anything else I wanted to buy, or do, or needed to do. Just kind of, like, plan things out of my head and whatnot. And it, it was very good, because I could, you know, I could have a really intense exercise, then I could cool down, walk it off, recover my breath. But it doesn't cost much energy to think, so I could, you know, just take a second, kind of disconnect it, maybe with some music playing on my headphones, which I'm getting usage out of. It just kind of helps me organise my thoughts and get things right in order. It's like, um, you're probably going to be seeing a Great Ace Attorney episode sometime soon, like I might recall that tomorrow, purely because I was there today uh, doing, like, you know, a catch my breath, slow walk on uh, uphill. And it was like, oh yeah, I haven't recorded that for ages. House is free tomorrow. May as well push that along to being finished. Then the slot's free. And that fixes a few issues. And yeah, that was thought through some channel stuff. And it really helped. So um, we'll see where it goes. You're probably not going to see me getting shredded. But for what it's worth, I'm definitely appreciating the benefits. Um, now we are going to end this one here. So if you have enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out a bunch. Let me know that you want to see more of this and all that good stuff. And until next time, with all said on all that aside, I apologize if I rambled a lot this, <laughs> this one. Thanks for watching, guys. My name's Ben Ramic, and peace out. Mm.